Welcome back folks, I'm Frizz and today I'd like to take some time to talk about one of the most interesting archetypes in Pathfinder 2e according to just me really, but honestly though, the Gallad Shard archetype is absolutely fascinating. It was released in the Treasure Vault and it is basically a one of the kind archetype at this point. If you're looking to play as a master of ice, the Gallad Shard archetype could very very easily be what you're looking for. Honestly, a big reason why this archetype stands out so much in the first place is because it's one of only two artifact archetypes in the game currently. These are archetypes that represent how coming into contact with a stupidly powerful item fundamentally changes you as a person. There aren't really that many artifact archetypes right now, like I just said there's only two, and I want more in the future, but the Gallad uh, Shard archetype right now is just like really sick. The actual Gallad Shard artifact is already interesting by itself, and it gets a lot cooler whenever you combine it with the archetype. It's a shard of absolute cold that you plunge into your heart, which draws away the heat from your surroundings while also making empathy with other people quite a bit more challenging. It reduces the bonuses that you get from emotion effects, and it also increases the DCs related to making impressions or eating other people, since, you know, getting your cold heart to feel things gets more and more difficult as you grow in power. Of course, it isn't all downsides. You also get resistance to cold damage equal to your level, and you get a pretty nice plus two status bonus on saves against emotion effects. Well, that's all fine and dandy. Being affected by a Gallad Shard is only the first part of the archetype. There are lots of feats within the archetype, uh, but they tend to focus on two different abilities or themes that the archetype provides overall. The simplest of these themes is just being able to live in really, really cold environments, and also actually really hot environments. You know, if you are used to being a personal popsicle, being in a blizzard is a breeze. Some of this is shown off in feats like Snow Step or Winter's Embrace, which let you ignore difficult terrain from ice and snow, and ignore stuff like snow blocking your vision and adapt to crazy environmental temperatures. Also, at level 20 you can take a feat that literally makes you immune to all cold damage and gives you the cold trait, which is just really, really interesting because at that point you are just a human popsicle, or whatever your ancestry is, popsicle. The larger chunk of the archetype revolves around spellcasting, and I bet you're surprised to hear that it's themed around ice and snow spellcasting. For the most part, the Galachart archetype doesn't function differently uh, from basically all of the other spellcasting archetypes in the game, except that you are simply limited to being able to cast arcane spells that have the cold trait, which is unfortunately pretty limiting. Thankfully though, with Rage of the Elements coming out really really soon, I'm willing to bet that there's going to be far more options now in regards to arcane spells with the cold trait. It's the elemental book after all. Honestly speaking though, the main thing that got me to make this video isn't actually the normal spellcasting from the archetype. Instead, the Gallad Shard dedication at level 2 gives one of the most unique benefits in the entire game. Yeah, I mean, you get the ability to cast Ray of Frost, but what is actually insanely interesting is the ability to cast the Frost Touch cantrip. This is the only way that you're ever able to cast this cantrip in the entire game, and that makes it very interesting. Frost Touch has little to no combat uses. It simply allows for you to chill objects and create non-magical ice. Though initially it's limited to making objects of ne negligible bulk, as you high in it you can start making larger and larger objects until you can start making like actually pretty massive structures. Being able to just wave your hand and make a huge item as a single action is like a really interesting power with a ton of utility if you're creative. And even if, even though they are fragile and they're gonna melt with time, there's nothing like stopping you from making an icy 4x4 in someone's way, because let's be real here, 4x4 is probably under 8 bolt, so if you can cast some decent spells, you can make some pretty nice obstacles as a single action. Like, just getting a cantrip that is not accessible in any other way 
alone makes this archetype really, really interesting. At its core, the Gelichard archetype isn't really anything hugely unique. It's a themed spellcasting archetype, and it's not nearly the first one of those in the system. Instead, what makes it fascinating is it has sole access to a really, really fun cantrip, and that it's also just a really cool artifact archetype. I may, like may or may not, have made this video simply to draw attention to artifact archetypes in general. Like, you can't prove anything, but maybe, just maybe, I'd be really happy if Paizo made more artifact archetypes in the future because they're really cool. You can't prove anything, though. Thanks for watching. Literally, as I was writing this, I got my hands on the PDF for Rage of the Elements, so you can look forward to some really interesting videos coming soon. Uh, what kind of artifact archetypes do you want to see in the future? Let me know in a comment down below, and while you're down there, you can always consider subscribing to the channel or joining up as a member or something like that. Regardless, until I see you next, live a wonderful life.